We are on Tool Academy episode six. For people that don't know, Tool Academy is a show where a bunch of girlfriends sign up their boyfriends for a show called Mr. Awesome, but it's not actually called Mr. Awesome. It's actually called Tool Academy, a show where we compete to see who's the least amount of tool in relationships. And the one that actually survives six weeks or so will become the most reformed tool and win $100,000. We're on episode six. Now, I don't know if the show like knows what I'm thinking or if it just worked out this way coincidentally, but I'm very happy that Sean and Matsu Flex are in our final four. I feel like we got very lucky with that. They're my favorites. I mean, you can't get rid of Matsu Flex. He literally looks like he's the outline of the dude for the show. So getting rid of him, I mean, that'd be upsetting. Sally Ann Salsand, thank you for your work. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. Being a tool is getting old. Being a tool is getting old. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Sean, Matsu Flex, and Josh. So it's like one in four chance of a hundred grand. That's sick, but at the same time, I've got that ultimate prize, and that's Krista. Wow, they're becoming so reformed. Look at that. Slip in a little nice comment about his girlfriend. Pretty nice. What's that guy's name again? I don't know that guy. <laughs> that's Tommy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Hi Trina. Trina. Oh. What surprise you got for us so, this week? When you normally come in here for therapy, you know, it's pretty intense and it's always the unexpected. But this week's lesson is definitely more fun. Thank God. Right. No, keep it uninspected. I want violence. This week's lesson is romance. Yeah. Lame. I was really psyched because uh, romance is one of Ashley's major issues that I lack of. I like that phrasing. I might keep that one in the playbook for when I do something wrong and I want to make it the other person's fault. That's one of her issues that I lack. <laughs> nice. Babe, babe, babe. It's one of your issues for me lacking that problem that we have. Sex is often the hardest thing to talk about. Not for Matsu fucks. Men need sex for romance and women need romance for sex. So today I'm going to ask you to be totally open and vulnerable Never thought about in discussing it that way. your intimacy. Kind of like in that. In order to help us, I brought in some props. Oh, Okay. You ready? Oh my god. By props, do you mean sex toys? Oh my oh. god. Okay. Oh. oh god, they're dildos with faces on them. Oh god, what? What are we doing? Baby, look at your hair. Yeah, no, Sorry, they're just so sock puppets. Using sock I got confused. Puppets in a role-playing exercise. Oh, <laughs> Ashley and Josh. It's got my bowling pins right there, and it has my bowling ball. I think that's pretty close to me for a sock. Oh, he's got a bowling ball in his sock. Everybody. That's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> the producers backstage are like, yeah, this guy's a fucking weirdo. He requested personally that we add a bowling ball to this sock. I don't know why. So there are some intimate subjects that are often very difficult to discuss face to face. By using sock puppets, you can speak more honestly and freely about what you like and what you don't like in terms of intimacy. Yeah, I'm really? going to be a little bit drunk for this Wasn't. one. I think we're going to start with Ashley and Josh. Talk about a typical romantic evening that would lead to intimacy. Ashley, I want to watch a movie with you tonight. Okay, let's watch a movie. And um, how do I go into this? I don't know if I just want to have sex. Like, that's romantic. That's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> nice, okay, yeah. Well, so you've agreed to have sex now? Yes. I want to have sex now. I feel bad that I haven't been into it. Ashley, move the fucking hand. Use the mouth, Ashley. The exercise will not work if you don't move the mouth. You're breaking my immersion. God. Well, it's not all your fault. It's also my fault because I don't show you passion and love. We got to have the passion and Look love at her sock puppet when you're talking to her. That's all I wanted. That so wasn't consensual. You don't like in bed, maybe. You. Oh, this is hard. I don't really like it when you bring the bowling ball into bed with us. He's like, what? I thought you loved the bowling ball. That was my final move. What? This whole time? You can say anything. Remember, you're a puppet. It's the puppet talking. I'm sorry. It's the puppet talking, not you. You need to make yourself last longer. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, now we're not sorry. laughing at Josh, we're laughing guy. at the puppet Josh. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. okay, carry on. What can I do to make you last longer? Is there something that I can do? <laughs> what? <laughs> Be less attractive. I don't know how, that's a tough problem to solve, man. Last longer is a mean problem to dump on somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Better turn over. Oh. Oh. Compromising, compromising. Dude, man, Josh, 
This is like now. I assume he said turn over and like let me ass fuck, but that really makes sense. That sounds like that's a better thing for him. Wouldn't he last shorter? I'll last longer if we can do it in the ass. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, you say you're gonna break up with him on the spot, but you'd break up with his puppet on the spot, not actually him. Remember, this is an exercise that would be very rude. He didn't say that. The puppet did. Sure, that's not romantic. <laughs> Well, that's how he's pitching, right? <laughs> Maybe he hates anal. <laughs> yeah, let me do anal. I hate it. I'm going to last so long. I hate doing butt stuff. I'll last longer if you sit on my face, I guess. I guess. Pull my finger. Like, oh. Is this the first time you've talked about it like this? Um, Yes, this is the first time we talked about it like this. Well, well done, the two of you. I think you've been incredibly brave. I hope you'll all discover that frank talk about intimacy will help you in and out of the bedroom. Thank you. Thank you. This was kind of big for us because we don't have any sex. And I'm actually glad it came up because in every therapy, even if you don't want to talk about it, something good always comes out of it. Wait, what? Okay. This was kind of big for us because we don't have any sex. Did they say this before? <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever say that before? They don't have sex, so he doesn't last long, but they don't have sex. They just don't have a lot of sex, I guess. So last longer? I mean, hey, give him a chance, all right? First time, Ashley. Jenna and Matsuflex. They got no when problems I got to put in bed. On the Actually, they do. They haven't fucked yet. My favorite thing is being dominated, but I think that that's probably been a little bit of the reason why I don't get very intimate with you. Oh, you his papa looks sad. I do appreciate you saying that that's what you want from me. And I will, I will do that. Now I'm, now I'm excited. Awesome, you know. You gotta capitalize on that. You should now. At that point, you get your puppet, and you just, you start macking. That's what she wants. She just told you she's okay with it. Take that puppet from behind, man. Show her you mean Matsu business. Come on. Well, let's go ahead and do this, you know. Well, what's your favorite sex position? I really actually like the <laughs> position. I get a lot of pleasure out of it. How do you sound I effects? Think that's gonna. Be <laughs> well done. You really felt like you were alone in the room. You were actually exchanging. The first time you really talked like that, perhaps. Well, we don't talk like that. We don't talk like that. Ever. So for the next two couples, I want you to switch roles and wear your partner's puppet. You can't do that. I'm kind of eager to see what Sean thought of me. Please, puppet. just be the worst version. Ah, I'm, I'm nagging all the time. Ah. <laughs> do something terrible. You know, Sean, you're never romantic. And I think that you should show me some more foreplay before... We have sex because you just- Not pre-watched, literally the same fucking voice I just did. <laughs> ah, Sean, you just want everything. That's not true. It's just, you know, we don't have a lot of time. It's so hard for me to just be near you and not have you. Do you realize how much you hurt me? All you care about is sex. That's all you ever want to do. You never want to cuddle or hold me or stop me from crying. All I want to do is be held for hours and hours and hours. Although hey, it was Sean. a little exaggerated, it helps us be able to speak from the other partner's point of view and through humor be able to share our true feelings. It's okay, baby. I will give you love. We can hold each other after we have sex. <laughs> we can <laughs> Good compromise. I just noticed the hair they did for Sean. Somebody had to meticulously craft this sock puppet and put strands of yarn going over and back to get his Karen cut this accurate. That's funny to think about. And acknowledging these differences will lead not only to more sex, but to more satisfying sex. And I think we'll go to Tommy and Krista next. With your puppets, you also are playing each other. Babe, let's do dinner tonight and get a bottle of wine. Okay, baby, sounds good to me. Oh, babe, I love you. Oh, I love you too. Mm. <laughs> oh, we're getting along great. We're boring and lame. I know we're boring and lame, but I love you. What the f bro? In some ways, it's difficult to tell who's who. It's all yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. Th that's what you that's do. Yeah. 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 So it's all total agreement yes. about yes. everything. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So, okay, talk about a scenario in sex that you don't like. Uh, we're kind of pretty open. Mm -hmm. I don't know, do you got something? Like, no, nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Me and Crystal get each other like, man, this, we're not gonna do this, you know? We're not gonna get all explicit and, and, and open in our romantic, you know, how we are at home behind closed doors. There's no way. You have nothing to say that, that you haven't- You know what, babe? I love you. I feel like the therapist lady's getting a little upset about it. So you got nothing? No, this isn't how this goes. What do you mean you got nothing? No, 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 no way you got nothing. Start bickering. Get mad at each other. Start making stuff up. And I think cuddles right now are better than anything in the world right now. Oh, me too, babe. I love you. I love you too. Oh, oh cuddles. If you guys have sex all the time, why weren't you talking about your sex life? I mean, is it really that perfect? 
I mean, that's pretty normal, I think. <laughs> if you guys are such in a happy relationship, like having great sex all the time, why aren't you telling everybody? Why are you always talking about how much sex you're having if you're having sex? Weird. But, you know, sex is sex. and Everybody thinks we all know how to do it. But actually, unless you really communicate it, uh, there's no way the other person... I know how to do it. I, I know well how to do done, it. everybody. I, just I feel that Josh, Sean, and I, we allowed ourselves with the little sock puppet to open up today. Tommy's not allowing himself to open up as much as we are. And we're gonna fuck him up for that. And yeah, we're gonna kick his ass now. Making my our sex lives completely public. Yeah, and, and that's, there's privacy and respect and a certain level of like wholesomeness people try to like keep. Well, every couple has sex. You have a baby, I have two kids. Well, how are you gonna go through a relationship without talking about sex? I don't, sex isn't an issue for me, darling. Talking about it clearly is. She has a lot to lose and she's I have a the lot to lose. The girls are fighting and I'm on team whatever the other girl's name is, not Jenna. Baby, yeah. you live with your parents? I, I have two minute. kids. Just because I live with my parents, I don't have a lot to lose. How the hell do your you know my home Your kids live with situation? their parents, Bitch, I don't idiot. About How the hell do you know my home situation? Bitch, I don't care about you. Okay, See, you that know what? was bitchy, that you, was bitchy. I, mean, I was instantly offended <laughs> because it's like, no one person's life is better than the other person. You know what's really and funny got, in, in boy world? Boy world's really fun if you have girl friends or girlfriend and you don't want them to be in these type of friendship groups where there's these fucking fights every week, but it is so fun to listen in and give your two cents on the dumbest fucking fight you'll ever hear getting an ear into these arguments that were ridiculously stupid and like in boy world you could easily mellow it over very fast but girls have to be way more I feel like roundabout about it or else they'll look a little improper so they have to be a little bit more passive aggressive and it's not fun but it's fun to listen into got to a point where I was tired of holding my tongue but yeah she is You're a not bitch gonna try and get me off the show because I will beat your ass let's just be real Frank. Finally, the real Stop Jenna me. comes out. Oh, she's fucking getting Here's ready to Jenna. throw down. When you start talking, you're, I you're talking the too. What the did you just say? You're like, you oh, act like you have more to lose than happen. any of us. Do. I do. No, you don't. I'm team red Welcome shirt, girl. We got a call over the PA system that we had class today. Good afternoon, gentlemen. So we're thinking, okay, what is it going to be? Home ec? Is it going to be tool shop? Gentlemen, welcome to sex education class. In the bedroom, I'm not a tool. I don't need sex education. Gentlemen, what does it even mean? I'm not a tool in the, the bedroom? So we're gonna cover some touching. You must keep your nails trimmed. What? That's our first lesson? Nails trimmed for sex education? I'll hear her out, I get it. Like, does anyone have fucking daggers? This area here, for most women, is the oh yeah zone. You have to make sure your hands feel good on her body or it ain't gonna happen. Odism? Can we fact check that one? Is that a thing? Is that the G spot? I've been hearing so much about the G spot and I do know where it is, but is that another spot potentially? Do we find the second G spot? This woman started teaching us how to caress girls instead of jumping right into sex. Oh, she said the oh yeah do. zone? <laughs> is that what she said? I thought she said like the odious or something. This area here for most women is the oh yeah zone. <laughs> you? Oh, my bad. <laughs> This woman started teaching us how to caress girls. Instead of jumping right into sex, then she taught us how to do more foreplay. Badass. I can have you, now each of you gets one of these. Okay, what's next? We know something else is coming. Oh, oh my God. God. Wow. It's chicken. You can name her if you'd like. Come on. Oh, fuck. It so, took me so long to realize that that was. Can we do this on Twitch? I'm getting... <laughs> I'm wondering how much further we can go. Okay, so it's not chicken. It is vagina molds. So I wonder how much we can watch of this, but we will move forward. Oh my God. It's like, it's like Christmas. I'll call it chicken. There it was, like staring at me in the face. Like, here's my desk. There's a vagina. Um, okay, I have cool. a vagina staring me in my face right well, now. And actually, what you have staring at you? Why is there hair on it? The vagina's on the inside. Now, gentlemen, what I'd like you to do is now find the G-spot. Impossible! You have given them an impossible task. It doesn't exist. Good luck, gentlemen. Take your hand here. Um, this stuff is, is like, I keep this stuff at home. Honestly, Tommy, we're all doing it. It's a participation thing. Tommy did. Finger uh, that vagina, of Tommy. Of Finger that vagina, little Tommy. To. What are you, little puss? Girl, bro, like the puss in front of you? Loop. Finger yeah. that shit. I can't believe you're not gonna do it, dude. It's frustrating for me to be putting in so much effort. I don't like, I'm getting uncomfortable vibes here. <laughs> do it, Tommy. Do it, dude. And participating and then watching Tommy say, you know what, this just isn't me. I'm not gonna touch this vagina. So, gentlemen, anyone have any questions? 
Do we get to keep these? <laughs> Holy ravioli. We just got a raid from F-Bombs for you. Thank you for that badass. Heck yeah. We're watching dudes finger vaginas. Welcome, raiders. This is really good stuff. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's it? Not, not Damn it! I told you they were never gonna find it. Now I <laughs> everything in that class. You did. Swear to God on my life and what I know. I think it's kind of a cop out. I think Tommy's been kind of not participating in anything really lately. It's like it's not it's not okay, dude. It's not fair, man. That that the rest of us are working hard on this cast. Is he a not, virgin? Dude. Is that oh, the that theory right now? Problem. That's gonna come Tommy, out I didn't, before you know he comes. Tommy, if you could participate, then we'd see how fake and full of <laughs> you are, bro. God damn, everyone's fighting. I'm super confident because me and Krista just, we have something no that nobody else could ever have. Romance is how we going. roll. All right, guys, so welcome. So this week's subject is romance. And tomorrow, yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. are gonna have the opportunity to take your girlfriends out on a romantic date. Oh. Oh. What's up? <laughs> but. There are, but tonight, we have an endurance challenge. There we go. Mind Add cardio. You are each going to stand on a pedestal facing each other. You are going to bend over at the waist and kiss each other through the heart. If the heart falls, you're out. All right, so you guys ready? I don't follow, but I guess we'll see. We're amazing kissers. We have a lot of passion between us, so we freaking got this. You ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got Okay. Time starts. It's about your kiss muscles. Now. Okay, what kind of Mr. Beast fucking challenge is this? I don't really understand it. I don't really know what this proves. <laughs> if you drop it first, your romance is dead. You have nothing. You have no chemistry. <laughs> Stop talking. The wind's kicking up. You have this like featherweight ornament in your mouth. Like you can feel the wind blowing this thing off your lips. Mm -mm. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> when you're at a different angle like that, what do you do? Why is he tonguing it too? Oh, Weak. Weak. Not an idea. We haven't won a challenge yet, me and Ashley. This is very important. We're gonna win this challenge, and we're gonna be the last couple standing. We just crossed the half hour line. It's looking oh. like it is anybody's <laughs> race. Time passed a lot faster than I thought it did. Half an hour is crazy. <laughs> And like right before this challenge too, he's like, by the way, you're all going to get to go on like really nice dates we got for you guys. Just stand over there for a half an hour plus and then we'll get you to your dates after you can't feel your face no more. I'm going to go kick Jenna. Close your eyes. Concentrate. <laughs> oh, it's good. All right. Oh! Dude, 30 minutes is crazy. Matsu Flex and Jenna, I'm sorry. Oh. All right, it's down to Tommy and Krista. Josh Need a chiropractor Ashley. for the date. Yeah, dude, that fucking, that's a terrible position. 38 minutes, 45 minutes. What do you even win? Well, why are you I'm thinking how much, I, love her, how much I want to make it through this? And I want the first choice of the date. That's all it is. So Just first choice of date. It's not worth it. Krista pulls some magical out of her sleep and does this Whoa. thing like. Damn. Crazy move by Krista. Krista out of nowhere. So Krista does this crazy ass move. She just swallows it. Congratulations, Krista and, Krista Tommy, and Tommy. You won. Yeah, baby, we freaking win, man. Finally, we got a competition. We won. Holler at your boy. Tommy, Krista, you'll have first choice of the dates. So everyone, say goodnight. You'll see each other tomorrow on your dates. It's better be an amazing first date choice. Like, are they all gonna be good dates? Like, unless we're talking about like, okay, first choice, beachside date, it's gonna be nice. We have like a whole fucking, you know, picnic thing set up for you there. Second choice, hot air balloon, kind of a little romantic, a little scary. Third choice, you get to go to a baseball game together. Fourth choice, pit of snakes. There's booby traps everywhere. You have to retrieve a key in five minutes or the spears will come out of the walls. Only in that scenario can I see the first choice date being a good thing. If they're all good dates, good. that wasn't so, worth as it. As you guys know, you're all taking your girlfriends out on a romantic date tonight. You sure you want to participate in this, Tommy? Yep, yeah. Okay. Tommy, as the winner of last night's challenge, of course, you get to choose first. <laughs> Sorry, Sean, you've drawn the snake pit date. <laughs> See, four dates and I want to do something romantic, so I pick out the, the night at the lake. Okay, yeah. Josh was second, so he picked the spa date. Yeah, okay, please do Josh exactly what I said. Third. He picked the dinner and a movie. And Sean, of course, was last and got stuck out with a camping trip. Okay. Yeah. All right, Not gentlemen. worth it. You guys are Nothing was worth it, dude. An hour. Hey, They're all good go dates. Go shopping. Personalize this date. 
This is your opportunity to make that date the perfect Camping trip date is for your close girlfriend. to Snake Pit. It's up to you. No, you it's not. I guess it depends where the camp. They might have picked a campground that is just infested with rattlesnakes. That is a potential. Tonight, I'll be watching the couples as they go on their dates. The guys have had all afternoon to prepare and design the perfect romantic evening for their girlfriend. You're creepy therapist lady. Give them privacy. Baby, look, it's so pretty. Oh, wait, what's the cry count? I think none this episode. This is actually a new record for the show. We are 20 minutes in and no tears have been shed. Maybe we are making progress. I'll be damned. Did you plan out the food too or that? Mm-hmm. Nuh-uh. Yep. Yeah. You got Caesar salad. Yep. You he definitely didn't plan out the food. I don't believe that. Yeah. You got shrimp for me, and you knew Caesar salad that I liked. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> Josh is off to an amazing start. Ashley is bowled over with I his attention. Him. Tension oh my seems god, all Caesar new to her. salad. <laughs> That's just like what comes as like your first dish at a restaurant. That definitely was like just there as like a starter. And he's like, yeah, no, I got you that. I know you like Caesar salad. <laughs> oh my God, come here. I drink it over here. Oh my God, babe. Mm. First your bowling trophy award wow, and now Caesar salad. What can't you do? Yeah. And uh, here's a blanket. My blanket. Matsu oh, they don't want you to go to a movie theater. Movie, which I was so grateful for because that's like my favorite thing. I love movies. So let's, uh, let's cheers. cheers. Yeah, cheers. nothing better than a date watching a movie while there's 20 cameras pointed at you. It's already awkward to watch a movie on a date. Now you gotta watch a movie with people filming you. That actually sounds terrible. This is to you and I. We're making amazing progress and I'm She's glad watching you currently. Therapy. I want this to be a cheers to the next step. Sex. Jen and I, we, we know how much progress we made in romance therapy, and we know now we could talk about sex openly and not shy away from the subject. Oh, they should have never taken us to romance therapy. <laughs> Those okay. sock puppets really did sex wonders for them, huh? Baby, pay attention. I know you're, you have five inch heels, and don't we fall? My day tonight is camping. I don't see any snakes I yet. Me and yet. I were the first ones to drop our little heart, you know? I got last choice today, so I didn't even really have a choice. But no matter what the date is, I'm so excited because it's one on one time with Ida, and that's where I feel is important. I love you, baby. Come I love you too. Me important. I, you so I love you, baby, and I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you, and we're always gonna remember this moment. Okay? Cheers. Even though Sean had to settle for the camping date, he's making up for it in spades by toasting to a future together. You can see it in Ida's face how much this means to her. Love you, baby. Love you, too. Let's get hammered. Aww. What do you think, sweetie? Huh? Stop <laughs> giving them so much credit. The show did it for them. <laughs> Every guy's going along with it. Yeah, I planned this. Babe, let's toast to, to us and to the kids. He brought flowers. Okay. okay. And, and you, to you too. changing. Oh, babe, yeah, of course. And <laughs> God, I got scared for Tommy there, too. <laughs> and to me changing, babe. That's like a girlfriend's like, and our baby, <laughs> and our anniversary. He was definitely shitting bricks there. Fuck, what did I forget? What did I forget? I don't like it. It's gross. Babe, I just miss you so much. Anyhow. Mm. Thank you for the world's smallest table. I'm bummed about the date. It was two degrees. There's weird stuff on me. The food is freezing cold and gross. Ew. This is Tommy's fault. This in my mouth or not. I was thinking the whole time, why are we here? Because you have first pick. We did win the challenge, you know? True. They set them up. Actually, no, she has the right to complain. She could totally complain. They won the fucking challenge. They did an hour long of holding their mouths together. They should have put the most work into their date. The producers screwed them. <laughs> yeah, we left the food out for an hour and a half. Seems a shame since he had the first choice. She's ugly. Date. Jesus, Scotch. Calm down. I'm having this amazing date with Jenna, and, you know, I'm kissing oh, Jenna. Oh, Matsu. He's touching the oh, yeah the zone. Dog. There's a lot of sexual tension because I want to have sex now. See, we don't even watch that. We never watch that. Martiflex is tuned in to Jenna's desires. It seems the temperature has risen in that room. Ooh, Perfect that's not the only thing riz right now. Let's go, Matsu. Can you wrap this? Uh-huh. No, you didn't. Look, there's a heart and key. Ashley and Joshua. Our special day. Talk. What day though? The day he became yeah. bowling champion? In all honesty, that was the most romantic thing he's done in three and a half years, period. He put such a huge effort into that date, and I saw it. He didn't do shit. Well, they're giving them private massages? They screwed over Tommy. They screwed over Tommy. This is something I got for you that represents us 
As I a kept new, it in my dick. I know that but now, there's only two hearts and one love, and that's what it says. See? So it's like our hearts are together. And then on the other side, it says, It I'm smells yours like my forever. privates. Love, Sean. When I came into this Tool Academy, I had two girlfriends. I had Ida, and then I had <laughs> Jamie. When I came into the show, I had two girlfriends, and now I learned I should have one girlfriend. Aww. I've really overcome my demons. When I came into this Tool Academy, I had two girlfriends. I had Ida, and then I had Jamie. And I realized that it's not quantity of girls, but it's the quality of oh, one girl that's what he makes said. me happy. <laughs> Like not the quantity, it's the quality it was, baby. I'm of girls I'm like dating. This. I cried a little bit because I've been waiting for this moment and this man for so long to be the way he is now. This is a tangible sign that Sean is committing himself to Ida. He's finally stepping up and being the man she wants him to be. Wow, snakes. S oh my God, no, kill them. Hey, thanks for having a date with me. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be here with you right now. Yeah. Tommy and I had a conversation on our date about the seriousness of this whole thing. I need to know that he has an actual plan for his life. Have you thought about what you want to do or anything like that? Oh, we'll figure something out. Let him win the hundred grand first. How about that? Sounds good. He's currently working. Tommy seems to have put as little thought into his future as he has put into this date. It's discouraging to see him coasting. We came home from our date, and there's a no- Ladies, welcome home. Here's hoping your date brought you closer to your boyfriends. Being near the ones you love is one of the greatest joys in the world. So pack your bags because you're moving in with the guys. Cool, 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 cool. Pack your bags! Oh my God, we, we get to spend time with them? And we're moving in with the boys. Hey! Tools, welcome home. Now that you Tools. know the art of romance, it is time to put into practice. Your girlfriends are moving in! Yeah! Can they bang is the question. Oh my god, the girls are moving in. I know there's probably gonna be some drama, but Jenna's gonna be right next to me, and that's what I've been wanting the whole entire time. Hold Yo, on. guys! We need to get laundry up off the floor. We need some air freshener. Us guys were all tripping out and we started cleaning that room like you've never seen four dudes clean a room nice. before. Nice. Get rid of the cum socks. Baby, I'm home! While we're cleaning up and the place is looking pretty good, we hear some high heels walking up the stairs. Party! Let's jump around. <laughs> this is what we do. Oh, I guess. I have sleep with you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing awkward boys. about four couples having sex in the same room. Hello, guys. I got a phone call. Hello. Okay. I'll let them know. Um, Tommy, that was a National Climate Council. Oh, they here we go. Fights, up, fights that, incoming. Uh, Vagina is causing global warming. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait. Where are Tommy and Krista? Humping there. The first night of being in the house. So we all go downstairs, we get some drinks, and you know, one thing leads to another, and we all start calling out Tommy and Krista. Give me Tommy As and Tommy and Krista. I love you! I love you too! Here's this guy! Oh, oh, yes. oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Tommy, here he is! This is only made funnier in retrospect, because apparently Sean and Matthew Flex have done gay porn together. I don't know what that means for everyone's relationships. This knowledge has been put on me, and now it's it's put on you guys too. We don't know what this means. We'll find out later. There is lore to this Sean show. Sean and Matsuflex were talking behind Tommy's back, basically, when we walked in the kitchen. All caddy in the kitchen. Did, did, did it really? I thought we just left the girl's house. Hold on, Tommy. Like, here's the deal. Like, this whole entire course of going through the tour academy is not about comfort. We all know that, that we're not comfortable doing everything that we do, but we all participate in it, except for you, because you're singled out, because you're too good. I'm trying to explain to you, buddy. This is how I you know am. What? This is how we are, man. I'm going to make piss. his own decision. Take it over, dude. Matsu, Matsu, do your thing. Tag Matsu we're, in. We're not, we're not arguing with you. We're not arguing with you. Wait, 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 wait. Stand up like a man in therapy. Stand up like a man in therapy to your girl uh, when the time is right. Because you're not standing up like a man right now. You're backing down to your woman who wears the pants right now in your relationship. Now wait, no, stop! You're comforting her right now. You are coming. Oh my god. There comes a certain point in time. Stop! Where we're stop kissing! Stop proving it! Stop! He is a strange, angry person. When he's yelling, he just makes less sense. Like he just comes off weird. And we're learning how to be the man for our women. And you know what? Let your voice be heard. All I'm saying is, if you want to go home to your kids, you would have got home a long time ago. 
All right? Ooh, all right. Yeah, let's Stop! Listen. Don't push me like that. <laughs> be, a, be a man. Be a man of therapy. Be a man of therapy. Like, he doesn't Stand know, up. like, what to do with, like, his arm. <laughs> Stop! I don't know how he controls his body. It seems like he doesn't have full control over it. It seems like his arms will move first, and then he kind of, like, has to act. He kind of has to talk about how his body's moving. Like, shit, my body looks really aggressive right now. You gotta stop. You are a problem. All right? Ooh, all right. Yeah, Stop! Listen. Don't push me like that. <laughs> be, a, be a man. Be a man of therapy. Be a man of therapy. Stand up. Lots of flex wants to had show a cat that sound. punch and slam stuff. Dude, it was insane. I'm in therapy. I'm opening up. I'm tired of you calling me out saying, oh, you guys are having sex. I'm in therapy and it's clearly working. <laughs> Look at me right now. No problems. Put the sex aside and what do you guys really have? You have no job. I've never seen Matsu like that in my life. Dude, even Sean, when he came back, is like, uh, I know I tapped you in, but like, Matsu, tap out. T tap out, tap out. You'd be a little, little scary. That scares the out of me. There he is. Now we're in the same <laughs> room, dude. <laughs> I'm pissed off that any guy would even dare to laugh at me when I'm speaking my mind and believing in myself, knowing what progress is. If you're not going to make progress, get the out of here, dude. I'll kill you. I don't think he laughed in his face. I think he was smiling about him talking shit, going along with it, and then Matsu Flex thought he was being mean or something. I think he was just trying to smile friendly. He's like, fuck you. Our first night at the boys' house was quite insane. Stand up for yourself and be a man and get a job. There's a cat I kind of feel like Tommy and I are both being attacked from all angles. I was so proud of him because not to let these guys pressure him into being an ass. I, I, I just have this nuts feeling it's gonna be you and I up there tonight, dude. I don't know why, but. It better not be. Yeah. Can't lose either of you. Me. May the best man stay there, but. And I think early time with the gift sub to Giant Pigeon, thank you. You're not putting the most effort into it. I'm calling you right now, I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. All right? Yep. Okay, so Jenna, why should your boyfriend stay at Academy? Ryan's still coming into his maturity, and um, I noticed it a lot when I went to the house. And even within last night's fight, I was shocked. He was really angry. Last night pissed me off, dude. I called you out and your girl out, and no one said That's up. Dude, dog is so over it. This fight is so unprovoked for no reason. Like, I don't even know what it's over. You and your girlfriend have had happy sock puppet relations, and that makes me so mad. I don't really know where this came from. All right, and I'm saying that's up. I am completely super proud of Tommy. He's obviously a lot more mature than the other guys. I don't know if they feel threatened by Tommy's like confidence in himself. You got your maturity badge, right? But yet, last night, you're immature. Tonight, right here, that's immature. Regressing, buddy, regressing. Tell him Tommy if you're spitting. Whose boyfriend should be expelled? Three out of four of the guys not too have given fucked all up. Of with Tommy not fully coming out in therapy. I just don't think he takes it very seriously. It I called you out in front of your girl and you guys <sighs> laughed it off. So what do you want me to do? You want me to come at you and talk to your hey, son? At least it would prove something to me. I really feel like Ben has you, thank you. He's not focusing on what he's here for. You're a bitch. I ain't gonna fight you. You, you, wait, wait, you. Oh, oh, you thank God, God they like, censored that. Bro, you're all Talk, bro. I almost got triggered. Right now, bitch. Tommy's different when you're not around, and Tommy will start to do the man thing. And the minute Ryan started yelling, Tommy laughs and starts sucking face with you. And Ryan was like, "That is exactly what I'm talking about." Last night you disrespected my girlfriend, and I almost jumped on your ass. You didn't. And you, you know almost what? did. But you exactly. didn't. You, 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 you didn't. Uh, you didn't. If being a man means disrespect people, and what is going on, dude? Tommy didn't do anything. <laughs> Tommy smiled and like was like, hey, you good, man? And then Matsu Flex freaked out. I wish I could both sides this, but Matsu Flex is clearly in the wrong. But I certainly do want him to step up to the plate, which he is more than willing to do. Straight up. Oh, now Tommy serious, did bro. something. Now Tommy did something. Oh, what up, bro? oh what shit. Up? What up? You want to throw a can at me again? What's up, bro? Listen, bitch. When are you going to start making progress? So that should have started when we talked about romance. Romance thing, believe me, my darling, is not lacking in that department. America, if he disrespects my girlfriend in front of me or behind my back, I'm going to lay him the out. Thank you very much. And Canada, if he does that, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sit my ass down. I'm nervous as hell going into elimination. I know that my aggressive actions weren't all that necessary, but this is not a game to me. This is my real life with Jenna and it's happening now. He's just mad he has small pee pee. Have you seen the him and Sean clips or are you just guessing? Good evening. This week's lesson was romance. 
the source material is out there. Tools. Are you Please. watching these clips on stream? No, I don't think we should. Today. Josh. Please, Please expel Josh. He has done nothing. Josh or Ryan, or sorry, Ryan Tommy. You spoke freely about sex, and you swept her off her feet on your romantic date. Well done. Thank you. Josh, please step forward and receive your romance tool bag. Damn it! He did everything right, but he's just not entertaining me. I mean, that made me feel great about myself. There are he is making tools, good progress, though. But only two badges remain. <laughs> it's like he just shit himself. Sean. Step forward. Oh, wow. Sean, from my perspective. Okay, <laughs> we're saying start. bye, Tommy. I don't know how you can't kick off Matsuflex, though. <laughs> like, he was so in the wrong. If Matsuflex stays on and Tommy leaves, like, that's that's fucked up. There's no reason Matsuflex should stay on. He's clearly been the worst. You created a truly intimate evening, and you made Ida feel as if she were the center of your world. Well, you've done enough to pass the romance course and receive a romance tool badge. Ida and I have progressed unbelievable amounts since we've been here at the Tool Academy, and that's all that really matters. All right. Tommy, Matsu Flex, please step forward. Obviously, I want Matsu Flex to stay. Obviously, I want him to stay. He doesn't deserve it, though. Clearly, we all want Matsu Flex to stay. He's such a character. Tommy, Matsu Flex, two tools. One badge. You little little bitches. Need your polls. Do your poll. Let me know who's going home, baby. In this situation, it's just like, what do the producers want, I guess? I mean, they could really make up whatever narrative they want. But we think Tommy. I don't know how they're going to spin this to make it so Tommy is justified in leaving. <laughs> Oh, blowback. Bad date, didn't open up the puppets, didn't finger the chicken. True. You and Krista obviously have chemistry and attraction, which is commendable. But a lasting romantic connection requires real work. And by not opening up in therapy, it appears you believe you've got nothing left to learn. I'm not sure Krista would agree. They just Marketplace. said their sex life is okay. <laughs> He's opened up in therapy before. They just said sex life, we're good. What is the issue with that? In therapy, Jenna and you confronted your biggest issue, intimacy. And on your romantic date, you and Jenna showed deep passion for one another. Unfortunately, right after that, you lashed out in anger, showing a regression in maturity. And although I don't condone the way you expressed yourself, there was a truth in your accusations about Tommy. <laughs> oh, she's just taking sides now, dude. This therapist lady is biased as fuck. You can't say that. Honestly, you were justified. He went nuts for no reason. For no reason, he got pissed. There was no justification. I was pissing him too during the sock puppets thing. I wanted to get up and hit him. Lots of flex. That's crazy. Please Come step said. forward yeah. and receive your romance. That's so match. lame, dude. You have completed the romance course. That's so lame. But again, I want Matsu Flex to stay, so it's all right. Tommy, I'm sorry. You're just a tool. Please head outside, drop off your jacket. God, and he hits that line out. so well. It's extremely important to me that Krista does not give up on me. I love her so much, and coming out of here, I'm going to go. I'm going to go home, and I want her to come with me. I, want I hope to, they go back to together. Carry on my life with her out of here. Okay, well, is this four cries? How many cries? I can't tell. Hey, baby. Hi. Come in. Wait, okay. So, <laughs> why did you get expelled? Um, you know what? I really don't know, babe. <laughs> what did they say? I haven't even been paying attention to this stuff anymore. This is in the past. And I just oh. want to go home and be with the family, babe. I just want to go home with you. Okay. So, the fact that you don't even remember what they said to you really makes me feel like they're right in expelling you and we didn't take this seriously, babe, but I can't, I can't do this. I love you. You can't go with me. I don't, I don't believe it. <laughs> they seemed so fine. This is scripted. Oh my God. The fact that your memory sucks. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I think he's fine. <laughs> oh, I had to cry. <laughs> I 
This is sad. This is sad. <laughs> Tommy's just like... Very obviously. I don't know, feel really stupid for being here for all this time. This might be the lamest breakup of all time. I feel bad for her. Do you? What did he do? <laughs> I have What did Tommy do? I, I, is, is the therapist in chat? I need someone to try to convince me Tommy did anything wrong this episode. Cause I'm not seeing it. He didn't fight with Matsu Flex. He did okay in therapy. He didn't really have to open up the sex stuff. He wasn't comfortable with it. That's fine. Uh, or they just have a decent sex life. The date he won, he won the fucking challenge. And then they set him up on a date being bad. And then he got dumped by the girlfriend for saying, I want to put the behind us i think we're okay i think he got screwed <laughs> maybe i missed some dialogue but i think tommy got screwed over here tommy tommy dude yo did your girl leave you tonight yeah what? why <laughs> listen can i take care of this and, and go take care of my business <laughs> Dude is still on the stage. This has just happened. He's still on the stage. Yo, bro, she ditch you? Yo, did she break up with you? <laughs> yeah, dude, I know we were just in the same room together like 30 seconds ago. The show producers told us to come up here on the balcony. They said we could yell down to you. They're doing him so dirty. I don't care what he said, dude. They're doing him dirty. Did your girl leave you tonight? Yeah. What? Why? <laughs> Listen, can I take care of this and, and go take care of my business? Her, her limo you know what left. What you can do now is get a job when you go home. Dude, didn't I tell you, bro? I told you, dude, that if you didn't stand up like a man, your girl was going to leave you for somebody else, didn't I, bro? Listen, man, he called you out yesterday in front of your girl and you didn't even stand up, dude. Exactly. He didn't even stand up. Sean is backing me up with my remembrance of this. Sean is saying you didn't even stand up. Yeah, because he wasn't trying to fight. He is getting done so dirty. Tommy didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. And now all the guys hate him. His girl left him. The show producers are filming the whole thing. What is happening? Yeah, fuck you, Tommy. You didn't stand up to me. You didn't fight me, pussy. Sean, Sean, listen. Listen, I'll see you guys around, all right? Tom. <clears throat> they were all chill like last what week. An idiot. Gunnar, I think you're being dumb at this point. Oh, let me save you. What are your messages? Not because of the Matsu fight. He has no life plans and is jobless and can't even tell his GF why he was eliminated. We're going to go back to the first thing he says to his girlfriend here. Was this wrong or did the music just make it seem wrong? Why did you get expelled? Um, you know what? I really don't know, babe. What did they say? You know what? I haven't even been paying attention to this stuff anymore. This is in the past and I just want to go home. And honestly, after everything else, uh, he has kind of the right to not know anymore. Why did they kick him out over Matsu Flex? No life plans and jobless should have nothing to do with the show. Although, yes, when she asks him what his plans, he doesn't know yet. Let him figure it out. He's trying to win all the money first. He's got to win 100 grand first. He's currently working. It's not good enough of a reason to kick him out when all that other bullshit was going on, all right? God, why am I so invested? You guys pissed me off. <laughs> no, it's okay.